Hi, and today we'll study the sinusoidal response equation for first order control system. So, in the case of the first order control system, we know the transfer function is given by y of s upon x of s is equal to 1 upon tau s plus 1. And as the response is sinusoidal, so x of s is equal to a omega upon s square plus omega square. So we'll put this equation in this. So we'll get y s is equal to a omega upon s square plus omega square times tau s plus 1. And now we need to make the coefficient of s as unity because we are going to solve this equation by making the use of partial fraction. So this will be equal to a omega upon s square plus omega square and tau so s plus 1 by tau so this will be a omega by tau divided by s square plus omega square times s plus 1 over tau so this we got our mother fraction and this can be split into two child fractions as b upon s plus 1 over tau plus c s plus d over s square plus omega square and now we are going to cross multiply this so b times s square plus omega square plus c s plus d times s plus 1 by tau divided by s plus 1 by tau times s square plus omega square so this denominator will get cancelled and will get a omega by tau is equal to b times s square plus omega square plus c s plus d times s plus 1 by chow and now we need to find the value of b c and d so first we are gonna put s is equal to negative 1 by chow and see what happens so a omega by chow is equal to b times 1 by tau square plus omega square and this whole term will get 0 so we we'll get So we'll get a omega by tau is equal to b times 1 plus tau square omega square divided by tau square. So the, this will be a omega is equal to b times 1 plus tau square omega square by tau. So a omega tau divided by 1 plus tau square omega square is equal to b. And now we need to find the value of either of c or d now let's put s is equal to 0 in this equation and let's see what happens so a omega by chow is equal to b times omega square and we have plus d by tau so we'll get a omega by tau and our b is a omega tau omega square divided by 1 plus tau square omega square plus d by tau and here we have a omega by tau negative a omega cube tau divided by 1 plus tau square omega square which will be d by tau so here we will get a omega plus a tau square omega cube negative a omega cube tau square divided by tau times 1 plus tau square omega square which will be d by tau so this tau this tau will get cancelled and this positive negative will get cancelled and we'll get a omega divided by 1 plus tau square omega square as d and now what we're gonna do is in order to cal to calculate the value of c we are gonna differentiate this equation with respect to x s sorry and then we are gonna put s is equal to zero so a omega by chow is equal to b s square plus b omega square plus c square plus c s by tau plus d s plus d by tau 
and when we differentiate this equation with respect to s then we'll get 0 is equal to 2bs plus 2cs plus c by tau plus d and now we are gonna put s is equal to 0 so 0 is equal to 0 plus 0 plus c by tau plus d so negative a omega by 1 plus tau square omega square is equal to c by tau so negative a omega tau divided by 1 plus tau square omega square is equal to c and here we got the value of a b and c and we are gonna put these values in this child fraction so let's see what happens so when we put the value of a b and c in the child fraction we'll get so b is our a omega tau divided by 1 plus tau square omega square over s plus 1 by tau and our c is negative a omega tau over 1 plus tau square omega square times s over s square plus omega square plus our d is a omega divided by 1 plus tau square omega square over s square plus omega square which is equal to y of s now if we take the inverse laplace transform on both sides of this equation so we'll get a omega tau divided by 1 plus tau square omega square times c to the power negative t by tau so this will be a omega tau divided by 1 plus tau square omega square times cos of omega t plus a omega divided by 1 plus tau square omega square times 1 by omega sine of omega t which is y of t here this is an important step because we know that the laplace transform of sine of omega t is equal to omega upon s square plus omega square and sine of omega t is l inverse of omega upon s square plus omega square but we don't have omega in the numerator that means sine of omega t is equal to omega laplace inverse of 1 upon s square plus omega square so sine of omega t divided by omega is equal to l inverse of 1 upon s square plus omega square and that is what i have written here so this omega omega will get cancelled and now by the definition of the trigonometric identities we know that p times cos f plus q times sin f is equal to r sin f plus theta r is equal to under root p square plus q square if we compare this equation with this equation then we get p is equal to negative a omega tau divided by 1 plus tau square omega square and q is uh, a upon 1 plus tau square omega square so r will be equal to under root of negative a omega tau divided by 1 plus tau square omega square bracket square plus a upon 1 plus tau square omega square bracket square and we'll get r is equal to a upon under root 1 plus tau square omega square and here our f is equal to omega t and theta theta is equal to tan inverse of p by q so this will be tan inverse of negative a omega tau divided by 1 plus tau square omega square divided by a upon 1 plus tau square omega square so this denominator will get cancelled a will get cancelled so we are left with tan inverse of negative tau omega now we can re rewrite this equation by putting all these values so y t will gonna be a omega tau divided by 1 plus tau square omega square times to the power negative t by tau plus our r is a upon under root 1 plus tau square omega square times sine of omega t plus theta so we came up with the final answer now at steady state we know that time will tend to infinity so y t 
at steady state will be equal to e to, e to the power negative infinity is zero so we'll get a over under root one plus tau square omega square sine of omega t plus theta now if we are uh, now if we are interested to calculate the amplitude ratio then amplitude ratio is defined as the output amplitude of variation to the input amplitude of variation so amplitude ratio is output amplitude of variation divided by input amplitude of variation and now we know that our input was x of s i write it here which was a omega upon s square plus omega square and we take the inverse laplace so we'll get x of t will be equal to a sine omega t so our output is a over under root 1 plus tau square omega square divided by our input our input amplitude of variation is a so this a is gonna get cancelled so amplitude ratio will be equal to 1 upon 1 plus tau square omega square inside the root so this was all the information regarding the sinusoidal response when it is applied to the first order transfer function and thank you for watching this video